Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be doing um, these 3D letters and I'm gonna show you how to resize it. We're not going to um, decorate it or anything. We're just gonna do an internal offset so that we have the different layers and then how to size it. So, all right, let's get started. So this is the one that I bought. It's from Etsy. It's from Nomara Quintella. And it is, I love this file or this package. Um, I got the punctuation marks, numbers, and letters, all for $18. I like the sizing of it. So they also have this in design space for, I believe, a dollar for each letter. So obviously this is a better deal, um, but also from a, um, just your, whether or not you like it, it's personal preference. But I like this one more because it's thicker. So it's got a chunkier body, there's more to decorate, it seems sturdier, all that's good stuff. So anyway, once you purchase it, what happens is um, when you go to download it, I'm gonna show you, it comes over in a zipped file. So you wanna double click on the file. Ah, there we go. So then you go into um, the package and it breaks down by accents and signs, letters and numbers. So I'm gonna show you the first one. I'm gonna do letters. I'm gonna do the letter K. So you double click on everything. I want the SVG file and I want the dash line score for the letter K. So I'm gonna drop it into my desktop and that's where everything, I'm, I don't drop everything in at one time because it takes forever. So I've been doing this as I need it. So I'm gonna be doing 10K, so one zero K. Um, so, all right, so I dropped it into my desktop. I've already, um, now we're gonna go into design space. So give me one, oops, here we go. Okay, then we gotta go to upload. So you're gonna upload, upload image and browse. And you gotta find all your letters. So let me see, it's something like, here we go. So it's the cut file dash the K. So here we go, I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna upload another image. I want the one and the zero. So let's see where it is. Um, okay, here's my zero. And I'm just saving and then upload image again, browse, and I'm gonna get my one. And then we're gonna resize it. And actually, I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take you into design, um, into Inkscape today. You can, oops, you can do that. Um, I've done that many times, so you can always find that if you want. But today we're just going to be downloading, uploading, and then resizing it. Okay, so let's look at this. Mm -hmm. So then you have your three here. You wanna click on all three items and insert. Um, and it's coming. <laughs> These are awesome, and I'll, we'll talk about, whoa, it's a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to, let's see, let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything. Everything's grouped right now. So here's the zero, the one, and the K, and we'll talk about how each one looks, okay? So what happens is, let's look at the one, because the one looks like it's the easiest. So this is the bottom one, okay? It, doesn't matter that it's flipped this way, but it's the bottom, or actually it might be easier to look at it this way. This is the bottom, okay? This top part right here, there's a there's a triangle, it matches here. So this goes this way, and then this long piece will go along here, and then this will go here. So then that leaves this one, the square matches up with this square, and it's gonna go here, and then little, little long. So. This is the long, little, little long, okay? And then it all folds up. So that's gonna give you that stack. Then this goes on top. So you're gonna have a layer like this. You're gonna have the bottom one. You're gonna have your tabs in the middle. Your tabs in the middle are gonna be like this and then your top one here. And so it's gonna stand up like this. So the same thing with the K, but a lot of times you can tell, like for instance, for the K, this one right here, even without knowing the triangle, right? You know this piece has to be this. It's the longest piece, right? 
and then these two look like they're equal, so it doesn't matter, it goes one and one. Then you have this left, um, let's see, this has to be this, oh yeah, it is, because it goes this, this, and then down up, right? So it's, it starts here, this piece right there. And then this piece is this, and then this, this, this. So that's there. Um, all right, so let's look to see how big we can get everything, okay? So um, the way I would do it is I would ungroup it. Okay, and then I would grab these three items and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. I want everything standing up. So right now, standing up, this tab, this is my longest tab. For now, it's my longest tab. It could be what, it could be the letter K, who knows, or the one, I don't think, I don't know. But um, anyway, we wanna line them all up because we want all of these to be, let me grab this. You want these three to align bottom so that this is our longest piece. So if I make this height, so this longest piece is dictating the height, right? So that means I can change this to 11 and a half inches, then everything gets resized proportionately. So I wanna line up all of my, my three right now. So I want to ungroup this. Okay, then I'm gonna grab these two and I'm going to align, oops, sorry. I'm gonna rotate 90 degrees. Did I type in 90? Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna have it like this. I'm gonna bring this over. I'm bring my two ones over. Then I have my K, so I'm going to ungroup. Then I'm gonna grab these three. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees so that it's standing up, right? And then I'm gonna grab, oopsies. I'm going to grab all three items and move it over here. Now I'm going to change this so that I can zoom so we can see everything, okay? It's a little bit small. Let me see, can, oops, hold on. I wonder if we can, well, let me, um, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, we can almost see everything, so I'm just gonna scooch everything over. Let's ungroup that, and then I'm gonna move this over, move this over, this over, so that we can see everything. Um, ungroup that, let's just scooch everything over. Ah, I didn't wanna do that. We want it to be the right size. We just want to sco scoot everything over. Okay, so I think we'll be able to see everything in a second. Okay, scooting them all over. Then I'm going to remove these little marks. Okay, so over here, Anytime that I see a little triangle, square, or a circle, I'm gonna grab it and just delete it. I'm not interested in that at all. Uh, what happened? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna delete those. All right, so now, let's see, can I see everything? I can almost see everything. Whoa, what happened? can almost see everything. Um, let's move these over just a little bit. All right, got one more little guy to move over, right? One more tab. Okay. So hopefully we can see everything, but it's okay, we can't, see. oh, we can't see everything. Okay, perfect. So now select all, and we're going to align bottom so that we know they're all on equal spacing, right? Now we can see who is our tallest person. 
Our tallest person belongs to the K and it's this guy right here. So this guy, the most we can he can be is 11 and a half inches, right? So select all and we're gonna change the height to 11.5. So everything gets resized. So hold on, let me, let me undo that for a second, okay? So before we do this, this guy is, I think this is the tallest guy. He is 7.6 inches high, okay? And that means our letters right now, um, this is almost seven inches, right? 6.7 inches high. So just remember that we're gonna select all and we're gonna, oh, I already had already changed it to 11 and a half. Okay, so that's as big as it's gonna get. What was I thinking? What was it before? Hold on, let's undo this for a second. Okay, so here we go. So he's nine inches tall, that's our biggest letter, and it's five and a half inches, so that's what it is. So we're gonna select all and align bottom. You can align bottom or top, it doesn't matter, but everything we want to be on the same line, and so we know he's the tallest, and we're gonna change from 9.4 as being the tallest to 11.5. So all our letters now are gonna be 6.7 inches high. This, yep. Okay, so it's all gonna match. So now, once you've resized it, now you can do you know the decoration for it. So like for the zero, if you wanna add things, now you know this is, this is the, the height and width of this, um, of the number. So, Let's change it and let's see if you wanted to do something else. So let's say we wanted, you know that you want all your letters to be five inches tall. So right now this is at 6.7, so maybe about, so we're gonna select all, change this back down to nine and a half, and let's just see what we have, okay? So when we resize it, this is now 5.5, .5, so it's still too tall, so we're gonna, Select all and go from 9.5 to, I already forgot my numbers. So let's see if we change it to 8.75 if we're getting closer to the five inches. So this is almost at five inches. So you kind of see you need to resize your tabs and your letters at the same time. Otherwise it won't fit anymore and it won't work. So when you're resizing, you need to make sure that everything is lined up and so that it gets resized proportionately. All right, that is all there is to this one. Um, but then I guess because we still have a little bit of time, that didn't take as long as I had thought, but let me change this back to what I want it to be. I want it to be as big as possible without doing off the mat. So I changed everything to 11 and a half inches. So I'm gonna save this as 10K, 11.5 inches. So I know it's already been resized. All right, so we know, let's do, let's just do one of the numbers, okay? So let's do, let's go into Inkscape. So I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna bring up a new screen. So Inkscape is free. I highly recommend, uh, what is going on here? I highly recommend getting it because the offset and the internal offset, it really makes your project. Um, look professional, put together, um, and it just gives you that element of being really polished. So I, and it's a free program. It's all I know how to do in here. So if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> this is all we need to learn. So um, just download it and just follow along. All right, let's go to file and we wanna open, we wanna bring in our file, right? So we're gonna go to desktop and we're gonna find our little file, uh, whichever one I see first. So cut, here it is, for zero. Okay, so let me bring it over, what happened? Okay, so here's our zero, here are all our tabs as well. We don't really need the tabs, but I'm gonna just grab this because it comes in like a really light color. I'm not really sure why, so I'm just gonna, you know, drop it like this, change the color so I can see it, so we both can see it. 
Um, so you saw how this was highlighted. With your mouse, you wanna click in an area that doesn't have anything so that nothing is highlighted, okay? You're gonna click on your paint bucket. You're gonna click on any other color. Okay, so I'm clicking on this blue. Now this is your grow or shrink by off. If you grow, then you're making it bigger. You're making that outline. And if you shrink, you're going inside, right? So it's an internal offset. <laughs> that was a new vocab word for me. Um, when you're doing the shrinking though, you need to put your negative sign. So I'm gonna put negative 10. And when I click on the zero, it's gonna get smaller. So you can see that offset, okay? Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> okay, let's do another offset just in case. So I'm gonna click on the arrow. I'm gonna click in the empty white space. It's always the same steps, okay? Click on my paint bucket, pick on another color, and then I'm gonna do negative 20 this time. And then I'm gonna click on this and this. So you see negative 20 doesn't look that good, right? So let me um, undo this for a second. And let's do negative 15 and see how that looks. Cause we, we already have the turquoise is the negative 10. So let's do negative 15 and now let's click on it. That looks a little bit better, right? But with these, I find that just one layer makes the difference anything more and it gets really wonky so anyway we have it here though just in case we want it um what you want to do at this point is you want your arrow and then you want to grab everything go to path object to path file save as so i'm going to save as zero internal offset so I can remember and find it. <laughs> Let's go into design space. We're going to upload, upload image, browse, and go find your file, right? So it was zero right here. Double click on it. Here's our file. Save and then click on it and insert image. So when it comes in, because, well, because I just told you the only thing I know how to do in Inkscape is to create your offset. So I don't even bother doing anything else. It comes in with these little tabs. We don't need them anymore, right? So let's ungroup it and just delete the tabs. And then here, we don't even need these little um, registration marks. So I'm just going to delete it. What you do need to do though, is you do need to resize these to match this up here. So the easy thing is we already know this is 6.715. So grab these two, make this 6.715. Then we know they're gonna fit perfectly over. Oops, let me ungroup it for a second. Um, oh, you can ungroup it. So I'm gonna grab this uh, oh, this one right here. This one, ungroup. Okay, then I'm gonna grab this and you can see they're perfect. So every you already have your tabs, now you have your two layers of this. Oh, actually your three layers if you wanted to use all three layers. And then you can change the color here. So I don't care about the color in Inkscape. I don't care about anything else. I just wanna get my internal offset or my offset and then bring it into design space and everything else I can do in design space. And that's your lesson in Inkscape. You're welcome. You've now reached 100% knowledge as I have. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. Comments, questions, um, just feedback would be awesome. And then if you have any special requests, I'm here as well. For that, um, leave all your details here if you want to send me a file because you want me to work on that specific file. It's an, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.